Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat in Italy. A little south from our, uh, well, the majority of our map over there, which is Switzerland. Yes, I'm moving the intro screen. That doesn't happen very often. Let's hide the mouse again. It is very busy. As far as our uh, intercity bus service is concerned, that will change today as we're going to hook up the rest of this station and make sure there is access from the bus station as well as to the city itself currently it's just hovering there is no access so we're going to sort that out we're also going to be changing the uh, simplon, simplon tunnel a little bit I'm not happy with it I'm happy with most of it well I'm happy with the bit that isn't the tunnel <laughs> as much as I do like a bit of artistic license, I got carried away and and it drifted a little, or a lot of it, from the uh, real life counterpart. It's a very straight tunnel in real life, and given the game mechanics, that would suit us down to the ground. So we're going to spend a small fortune correcting my mistakes. Yeah, I I couldn't I couldn't let it go. Executive decision. I overruled myself. <laughs> it's also there's a there's another neat feature as well. The the tunnel itself is two tunnels built separately, uh, several years apart. So we're going to do something similar as well for that, and that should uh, that should make it look a little bit more like the tunnel. But do not fear, we've still got the fancy uh, cliffside railway coming down into this station that state it shouldn't be too much of a fix it's just going to be quite pricey also i know there's a lot of also's today at the start i have been bug hunting again the issue i had with the stations was down to a mod which after a few hours of loading and removing and adding mods and trying to figure out which one was responsible i found it and removed it now, it is the NL Extended Overpass mod that's causing it in the beta. However, don't go uh, moaning at the mod uh, author. Not their fault, really. It, it used to work before the beta. So if, it, uh, if that bug makes its way through to the release, which is coming this Monday. So if you're watching this on Thursday the 18th, yeah, I did a sneaky little camera transition I, I just trying things guys <laughs> break up the uh, intro scene a little bit but yes uh, Monday coming is when the beta goes live and becomes a release version so if that bug is still there the one where you in fact I'll show you let's bring up the UI and get going yeah so if uh, ooh, we've got money in the bank nice so if you go into uh, configure there was the NL extended overpass thing just here uh, if i click on all the tabs now and close it and click on this it shouldn't crash oh dear, i'm so nervous there we go no it doesn't so yeah that was the issue now the tab it would default to was that overpass thing then when you clicked on a city name like that it would crash the desktop there we go found it so we can safely edit our stations now should we desire without having to save and load right that money isn't going to look like that for much longer because we've got a lot to delete down there however we might as well get the station sorted at the very least now we're just gonna draw us a line here we're going to have to pay for a bit of demolishing otherwise it won't uh, it won't work the best when making the t-junctions i don't know if this will create it does create a path at the back so what we can do then is have a little bit of an access road down here so that people going to and from this bus stop can do so via this access road the other one we'll have down here this is not designed to be for traffic so we can just have it like this now we could also make this into a little gardeny area as well we'll bring that in there so we've got access to the road there's a little bit of a speed bump but like i said not designed for traffic i mean one thing you could do here is prevent them from building 
I guess we could see if anybody builds here because it would be nice to have a few buildings. If not, we'll fence it off. I'll put some little bushes in there. We'll see how it goes. I like this little access thing. We'll see how that worked. Okay, so let's get paused. The reason I'm pausing it is once we do the tunnel rebuild, I want to make sure that we get refunds. That'll be for the double tunnel we'll be creating. It's a little unfortunate that we've got to do this, but I, cu I couldn't. I couldn't leave it. All of this is being undone. It's a bit pricey. Even this is being undone because we're going to go a little more like the actual tunnel itself. Let's get building or rebuilding this bit of track. What I'm tempted to do, however, is have this as a bit more of a cutting so we can get our junction in just before the station. It's going to cost us an arm and a leg. Now this bit is going to come back to here. Actually, we can start the tunnel. I'm going to keep everything flat and straight to start with. There we go. And then we're going to start our double tunnel. So to do that, we put a third middle track and then we do that. And that gives us our exit. Then we can delete this back like so. There you go. You got your double double tunnel, which is much closer to the real thing. There we go. I like that. Is that better? That gives us lots of options now for crossovers. We'll have one there. I mean, technically, you could have another one or a diamond, but we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so that tunnel's in on that side. And then we're just going to connect this up and it's going to cost us a small fortune. 27 million. Bargain. Are we doing it? Yeah, well, you've committed to it now, Grand. We're then going to double track all the way down to save us a bit of money. You'll see it's 13 million. Uh, we may need to take a loan to get this done, but it will be worth it. And 12 million. Dear, oh dear, that's pricey. Let's take out a temporary loan because we've got to buy the train. We will, however, get some refund by deleting the middle section here. There we go, we're getting quite a healthy refund. But this is how the tunnel is, so I'm happy with it. And then we can pay off the loan once we have the funds. We're not going to leave it sitting there, paying needless interest each year. And there we go, guys. We have a dual tunnel heading into Italy and Switzerland, depending which way you're going. Uh, we're going to delete this back so we can get a smooth run into the track so we don't slow down too much the amusing thing is it almost looks like i was heading for something similar <laughs> at the point of building it and then just completely forgot yes grand work well, why you've got no money official episode it why not why not it's not like we're broke or anything i think we'll leave the smoothing and detailing uh, once the train's up and running there we go i think that's good I'm all sorts of happy with that. So let's get in our signals and we're one way. We uh, still don't have the French signals, the modern ones. So we're just going to use these for now. Uh, yes, one way, please. And can you? There we go. I like that. One thing that is free. Yes, this is free. So we can at least paint it and make it look a little tidier. There we go. That's nice. Oh, not up there though, but never mind, it's free. We can delete that, hopefully. Oh, I deleted it and there's something under underneath there. We need to paint that back. I don't know what that was. There we go. We've made it a little grassier. We are going to buy a new passenger train from our depot here. And it's going to be electric. We're going to use this one. And we're going to use the new BLS coaches. We're going to put on up to 100. I think 100 will do us. That will cost us nearly 15 million. The rating is good. There's not much of a slope going on for the tunnel, so we don't need to worry too much about tractive effort, more about uh, power. Right, we've got that. What have I not done, though? <laughs> you didn't make the line. You distracted yourself. Good job. Let's do that then. New line, not from the uh, freight station. From there to there. We have an issue. It wouldn't be uh, an episode if I didn't have an issue with a new line. Is it stray signals? Now, you should be able to get out here, shouldn't you? Yeah, what on earth is going on there then? 
Why can't he get out of there? These are uh, two way. Yes. It goes round like so. That is perfect. Uh, you should be coming in this way though. That signal's in the right place. I don't understand. Have I messed up a signal down here? No, I don't understand at all why that is. Oh, no, that should be fine. And yeah, no, it won't be. Did I select? I might have selected the, it's all right. I know what I've done. I might have selected the freight station there. There we go. That's pleasant. We've got this long run up here where we go down to single track as uh, our freight's going to be using it. I don't know if we're going to have more trains running from Domodossola down there. I had to think about it. But uh, yeah, that's that's how we're going at the moment. I don't know why you're doing it like that. We should force the issue after Brig. Could you head down there, please? There we go. Nice and tidy. And now we can uh, we can name it, can't we? Domodossola to Brig. Here we go. Uh, we could have had it red or grey. I'm sort of tempted to go grey. I was looking at uh, some of the Italian liveries and they, they tend to be like a red and a grey. But we'll have red for now. Now we have this train and we can put it on that line, hopefully. Please go on there. There we go. We've got the new coaches. Do you want to have a little ride on it as we come out here? There we go. We get to, we get to ride out of the depot. It's very pleasant. We are missing some signals. It's a bit jumpy there. I love this. I love this track that's uh, surrounded by concrete. Are we going to wait for any anything? Obviously not, because we're making our way out. We could we could use uh, a small dwarf signal though. Possibly, that would allow us to wait. I don't know how we would signal this section up, the straight line. Right, anyway, should we take a look at the train? That, as this is a bit close anyway. Well, that's not pleasant. <laughs> I might need to tidy that up a little bit. Yeah, that's not how things happen in real life, is it? Absolutely not. There's our new coaches, BLS coaches. And away she goes. Perfect. Where's our train? Where are you? you? You're going through there at some decent speed. 69 kilometers an hour, dropped to 68, which is the track speed, not the train itself struggling. Now we should pay off some of this loan though, shouldn't we? As much as we can, till it hits red. Or all of it, wow. Okay, we're loanless. <laughs> that didn't take long. There must have been a, a couple of big uh, paydays coming into the station. Ooh, that's nice. There's our new passenger train passing our current freight train. What you got on board? Now we're up to 55 goods. That's lovely. That is lovely. That's starting to pick up and even out a little bit. That's going to increase the income of those freight trains. Now, if we head over to Brig, are we going to see a slight shift of passengers from here, which was obviously overcrowded it's also going to start overcrowding our tram service but we can start balancing the line rates to accommodate that and do we have people a few stray strands of grass there unfortunately that was some quick growing weeds i don't think that's what it was you're not there anymore oh and there goes another freight train they're kind of bunched up at the moment although it's still got 14 on board that's nice people are starting to queue for us how about over on the italian side of the border uh, we've got there we go someone's using our little access road <laughs> who's using it grace kelly okay i'm thinking of a song there isn't grace kelly a song i think from Mika, I believe. Yeah. And it's now going through my head. That's nice. Right. Get that out of your head and concentrate on what we're doing today. Well, I love that people have started to use this. We've got 22 people waiting already. This should eventually die down. Although we might keep it running for the uh, the odd person. 
who made very nice top hat there, uh, Max Robinson. That's wonderful. Do we like his hat? That's marvellous. Very dapper. It doesn't it doesn't tell you the ticket prices yet. I'm hoping it does at some point. Did that say Sierra? Wow, he goes shopping in Sierra with our lines. That's a journey that's just been made a lot better. I love that the doors are inside as well. That's wonderful. A little post box. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of people. We're up to 30 people now. they got all the access they need. Where's our train? Has it made it to its first stop yet? Probably not. It might be still coming down the mountain. Is that it? I believe that's it. Train 1. Not the best name in the world. We will name it, though. And again, it's going to pass, pass another freight train. Well, our money has recovered quite quickly, even with me building the tunnel technically three times, or even four. It might have to wait at the viaduct here. They don't seem to wait too long, though, do they? Absolutely not. Right, brilliant. Our train's on the way. Do we want a little ride on it? Of course we do. Any excuse for a little... Oh, we've got an alt tab. There we go. That That's still a thing. <laughs> don't know what it is. It's very bizarre that Alt Tab will fix stuttering. There must be a, a, a very good reason for it as well. I don't know whether it's operating system or game code though. Who knows? Well, someone will know. One of the devs, or even or either Microsoft, or it might even be drivers. Who knows? I'll try updating them again. There was a Windows update, so that, that always throws a spanner in the works. Okay, okay, not always. I'm just going to say, though, the scenery in the background... Yes, I did just take a drink of tea. The, the scenery in the background is absolutely marvellous. Look at Brig. That is, that is wonderful. Looking at Brick from here with the backdrop of the mountains. I, th I feel like we're, we're starting to make it look very Swiss. Even more so once we have uh, some of the more modern trains. It's a shame we don't have actual Swiss signals. I think Austrian are the closest. Whoa, there goes a, a big tall building. I wouldn't mind living there, thinking about it, because you could look onto the onto the railway. But at a, a decent height, so it shouldn't be too noisy. That would kind of be nice, wouldn't it? All right. I don't know whether we're actually going to stop and pick up anybody, uh, as we're nowhere near the platform. But we're probably just going to go straight by. That Those people are waiting for the mountain railway, heading to... Uh, currently speeds although we will extend that to go all the way to tomb no well, every time don't do it well that was upsetting we've got to tidy this up when we can afford it now the only reason we're going to get this uh, dinosaurs back out the middle there is um, with lowering the hills around it We'll make the cutting less aggressive and that will get rid of that and then we'll, we can tidy all that up as well. But here's the tunnel. Not as straight as the real one, but straighter. I mean, it's almost crow flies, right? From from Italy to, to Switzerland there. It's a long old tunnel, just like it is in real life. I would love it if these, when it automatically draws the tunnel, it would put ventilation in and stuff. And uh, emergency doors, that would be kind of cool. Especially given this double or parallel tunnel that we've got running. You feel like that the middle bit would be for emergencies. Similar to the channel tunnel. Where they connect two tunnels together. But there we have new stuff. A Douglas DC-3. Uh, ah, here's the Opal Blitz. There we go. Yes, this one we're going to need to do. 
what we should do. Oh, we got the rail bus, guys. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. But uh, yes. So we'll leave this running for a little bit and then we'll take a ride on it. Because we've got to do some tidying up with our grain lines over this side. Well, over that side, but this side. <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. How many people are waiting? 89. 90. And our train is coming through here. We will, at the end, have a little ride on that. That's how, we, that's how we're ending today. So stay tuned after my goodbyes at the end. Let's start upgrading this, shall we? And we're going to get some new trucks on for this whole grain situation. Uh, well, not this grain situation, but the, the other grains. Where are they? These over here. But we're going to do the logging as well because they need new trucks. And we're probably not meeting demand. So we're going to upgrade all the roads here. Eventually, we'll have everything upgraded. Straight away looks better. It's all looking a bit modern now, isn't it? Uh, we need to upgrade that road as well, don't we? Yes, we do. Might as well. Now, we could do the whole lot. I don't know how much it'll cost. Not much. Why not, then? Why not? Get that done. There we go. Right, let's balance this out. Is this one way? I think it is, isn't it? Could we maybe, then, upgrade that to be one way? And then it'll look the part. Other way, please. Thank you. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? We're heading that way round. And then this way around. Isn't that lovely? Should we do a bit of smoothing? That's painting. A bit of smoothing. The more official episode. It's all official episode today. We have 17 million in the bank, guys. That changed. Considering we had to take out a loan to sort that out. And now we've got uh, plenty of money in the bank. That's wonderful. There we go. That's a little tidier. Right. Let's get these upgraded. Because that's all that was for. Right. Replace. We need... We're actually going to have the Volvos for these. And it'll be those, right? Yes. There we go. Get your logs on the back. That looks wonderful. That should increase the rate. No end. What sort of rate have we got? Don't want to just guess, do we? 150. We need to match 400. So still not meeting demand. What we can do, though, is duplicate three of these, let's say. Get those on. I can hear them coming out of this depot. I wonder if that's been fixed. See what sort of line rate we've got. 225. I mean, we might as well throw a couple more on, right? And then we'll check back on it. Because we're, we were only meeting 22% at one point. Let's have another three on there then. I mean, it's more money. That's what it is. More money for us. More money for expansion. More railways that's what we're going to have a lot of oh yes that's better that's better we're up to 303 already bit of a convoy going on there brand new trucks new jobs let's put another three on see what that does for us might as well go to the maximum oh we almost hit it we'll come back and check on that throughout the series make sure we keep up the speed on that that means they're going to be getting maximum in there I don't know what we're doing with the planks. Nothing this side. Um, so it's probably going to be going through the, the mountain with our other other connection that goes up to uh, Wisp. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen there. How are we doing with passengers here? We just got here. What sort of money are we making? The timing is impeccable, I will say. Well, 1.1 minute million for its inaugural journey that's pretty good uh, ignore this one that was traveling from the depot it's a bit of a bit of a journey but we'll see how that manages we might be full on our first run but uh we're not gonna run no almost perfect i might have just picked a decent sized train there well there we go look we've quietened down a bit we do however need to uh increase the the, the rate of our trams here uh, if we we want to get the trains involved here a little bit as well our two trains that will be dropping off here have a rate a potential rate of 124 plus 180 so that will be two three three oh four and our trams are currently at 232 
So if they were full, they obviously would uh, not keep up. So what I want to do is instead of some more white ones, let's put some let's put some blue ones on if I can see any. Can we see any blues? Where are all the blue ones? <laughs> what did you? Well, you know, Grand, you could just click on any of them and just select the blue ones. Let's manage vehicles. Unselect that one. We're going to put two new trams on here. There we go. Top and tailing with blues. And we're going to also start selling some of these buses as they're not going to be as busy, are they? As more people tend to go for the train. We're up to 287 at the moment. That's a lot better, isn't it? We only need 304. But that's only if every train is full. And, of course, if they're all getting on, on at this uh, tram stop. Because it's a little bit busy. It's not overfilled, though, so they're not going to uh, look for alternative methods of transportation just yet. We might have nipped that in the bud. It, we, we could recover from that. They would eventually have another go on, the, on our public transport. Right, yes, we've got this to work on. And, indeed, we can tidy this up a little bit as well. It's been a long time since we've been here. Let's get these one way. That's nice and neat. Straight away, that's wrong. <laughs> there you go. That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, these are old, old trucks. Now, one of these, grain haulage is fine. We can have the Volvos on there. Uh, do not clone all of them. So we're going to change these for Volvos. And they're going to be the tippers, I believe. Yep, there we go. We'll get those replaced. That's going to help no end. And the food production obviously needs to carry both grain and bread. So for that, we're going to have to use the Opal Blitz down here for all cargo. Because this one will take bread, but not grain. Uh, this one will take none of them. This one will obviously only take uh, oil and fuel. And this one will only take grain. But if we go with all... What does that one take? Grain, that's a... Uh, that's a tipper as well, isn't it? Is that? What is that? Oh, well, a dump truck. Yeah, a tipper. So, yes, we'll use this one for that. About the same stats, by the way, if we go back into here. The Volvo, 60 kilometers an hour top speed, 57 kilowatt power, and 4.8 tons with a capacity of 13. We've got a capacity of 12. Uh, slightly more powerful was that. Yeah, quite a bit more powerful, actually. And uh, lighter as well. But yeah, so... Close enough. Close enough. We could, of course, have them... This Well, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? To have all of them. These as well. As the Opal Blitzes. But everything that's on the same line. But we could take these. I believe everything's the same. Oh, no. Well, the capacity capacities more that doesn't really matter so there we go we'll have them in there we'll have opals on there and then we'll have Vol volvos on the sion food delivery there so we'll get that done and um, we'll give those yeah food delivery they don't take food do they no they only take goods but we can have these get those replaced spending money like it's going out of fashion i think we're good guys there we go, we've got a little opals. That should speed up that. We'll check on the rates. We may need a bit more throughput on the Sion food delivery, I think. We've got a rate currently of 94. And how much do you need over here? You need, I still panic a little bit, 133. So we could afford to get another truck on there. Another food delivery truck. We do have up-to-date buses so let's manage these we'll get a couple more on be interesting to see where they come out of that works doesn't it that absolutely works we'll take a look at our uh, our trains just coming back in as well i don't know how i keep planning this but there we go we're in again let's take a look at the finances as long as we're not losing money that's all i care about there we go yeah that's fine it's not going to lose us money this has emptied 
as we've caught up with this as well. That's lovely. As long as it's not crowded when this train drops off a bunch of people. That's the only thing we really worry about. It's going to get quite busy. I don't know whether anybody will walk into town. Possibly. There's, we've still got people on uh, on the intercity bus. But you're not picking up anybody, are you? So we'll get rid of you. There we go. Get rid of one of those. We'll start doing that. Tidying it up. Oh, it's a bit more relaxed today, guys. Finding that bug made me happy. Well, it didn't make me happy, but it was <laughs> it was it was pleasant not to worry about it this episode. There we go. Uh, what else do we need to do? What are you? You're just buses. That's fine. They're only temporary, technically, the buses. We are. We. I did notice when we was over here, I wasn't ignoring this, that we're uh, not keeping up with the food delivery. Which is why we upgraded and added a few more of these trucks on. The rate is going to start sorting itself out, though, eventually. We're up to 113 now. I'll tell you what, let's add a couple more on there get that done there we go this side is starting to be pretty much modernized now isn't it yeah we've got everything happening here these are two-way well we could upgrade the road so it matches the other road a little tidier uh, like that there we go and then down here because it does look to be like it wants to uh, build some houses out this way which I wouldn't complain about really and then we'll turn this one into some country road built to them by this a bit easier some cows there grazing it's a hive of activity down here we're not keeping up at the moment uh, the grain haulage is is lacking a little bit although these don't tend to balance them as we've seen however yeah, I was going to say, however, it's not an issue because we're not over overfilling the platform as we overfill the platform. I guess we can have one more. It should be balanced. Well, it's not balanced, is it at all? No. Maybe we do need one more then. Or two. Let's put two on. Why not? That should balance them out. Oh, they've come out the correct depot as well. That is good news. Guys, I'm happy with what we achieved today. We got a bit of tidying up done. We may even... Yeah, this was mentioned in the comments. Before we go, I would like to check the rate of the steel train here. We have 147. That's our current rate. I don't think that's going to cut it, is it? Really? What sort of shipment are we... Oh, yeah. No, we could push this into into level two. We are transporting 100%, funnily enough. Which is interesting. Because that's only 200. Yeah, should we, should we extend that? I just had a, a moment where I was daydreaming over math. I would say so. We'll let this uh, drop off. We've still got some steam trains for fans of steam. They will be upgraded to electric soon, though. Definitely. Our money is going up. And it's going to keep going up now. So we're, we're going to be in the position, I would say, to link up. We'll let that drop off. And then we'll come back. To link up this, we're going to have possibly the freight station around here. And it's going to do a loop around and then back in. And another freight station down here. Uh, we could have a small loop here. Perhaps some sort of uh, yard work going on. If we get it right next to the road, we can also block them building out here and complaining. Obviously, we're not keeping up with this, but we're not really that bothered. The reason being is because it's soon going to be handled by train. We could have the train stop here and do a little loop there. Perhaps would be okay as well. I'd like to, uh, when we can afford it, dig this river a little better. Uh, 
since it's actual water down here and we're not baking it, we can get this um, a little bit more prominent. And then we can build us another bridge here and extend this bus service into, into the bus station here. Uh, anybody getting on board? No, so you can be sold as well. You are waiting. Yeah, they're respacing themselves out. That's going to save us a little bit of money on this. Most of the people are going to be using this uh, from, from the train. Is it coming around the mountain? No, I can't see it. Through there somewhere. Where are you? Are you on the way back even? Have I missed it? Can't see it. It must be... Oh, it's back here again. Dear, oh dear. I mean, that does that journey fairly rapidly, doesn't it? Yeah, only 62 people on. Right. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting balanced out. We might even be able to make it smaller. Although, saying that, it's probably a case of letting things settle down. As it's going to be dropping people off and picking people up and then waiting for them to go and do whatever they're doing and then come back. Some of them might be, as we saw, Max Robertson, was it? He was heading all the way to Sierra and the only way to do that is via a mixture of trams and buses all the way down the river here and up there. Soon, Max will be extremely happy as we'll have, uh, we'll have a, a complete train network for him. So he'll just stay on board or, or swap trains. I don't know where we're going to run this to. If, it, if this train service does run that way, then we'll continue it. Do you know, I'm happy with it so far, guys. I'm happy, happy with it. It does look like everybody's keeping up at the moment. That's looking pleasant. The only thing that's not making us money is the machine delivery. Uh, we could probably increase the machines at some point as well. Is our train on the way back? I don't want to forget to uh, do that. I tend not to mess with it while it's got a load. Uh, it's just got in there. Look at that timing. Yeah, I think we're going to increase the rate of this. Did you flip? What are you doing dropping off there? When did that change? That's not where you're supposed to be dropping off. You burk. Oh, it's changed all our lines. I didn't even notice that. You're supposed to be using this one here. What are you doing? You silly sausage. Oh, dear. Well, it's a good job we checked, isn't it? Right, let's get uh, this and, and sort you out a little bit, sir, because you're doing the wrong things. Could you stop at... Is it two? One, I think. There we go. There we go. Right. Yes, I didn't even notice that. What sort of rate do we want in here? We want to be meeting... That says 300, but I, I don't think that's it. We want to be meeting whatever this is, don't we? So currently that's 200. And we're not even close, which is why we're filling up completely on the platform there. So we'll get a few more wagons on there. Is it electrified all the way? I don't think it is. Well, we'll leave it as steam for now, if we can get away with it. Manage vehicle. Oh yes, it's steel ice span. Condition is bad. That's unfortunate. But we can fix it. We don't need to worry about slopes too much, so the express loco might be okay for us. Let's get us some new wagons on here. Until it goes to mediocre. There we go. There we go. What sort of line rate do we have here? Let's see. That's bumped it only up to 170 of the required 200. 200? Yes, 200. Well, I mean, it's a bit closer, isn't it? That's not ideal, though. I think what we should do when we come back then is electrify that. Or I'll electrify it. Because we are going to electrify everything. Except for this train, which is our tribute train. Uh, tribute train. <laughs> Tongue twister. Isn't that beautiful? How are you doing anyway? Are you, are you got a decent amount of people on? 13 or 36. It's not ideal. Oh, yes. Before we go, guys, what should I do? Absolutely. Get rid of this, um, this tram thing, right? 
Uh, only, it only carries a few people. So we'll manage this. We'll replace it with uh, electric. This one. This one carries 20 people. So we'll add that and replace. There we go, guys. We have a bus riding the rails. <laughs> it's a rail bus. It's not actually. It's not like a peso that was an actual bus chassis. But, uh, yeah. It is still a rail bus. There we go. That's looking the part now, isn't it? That's looking the part. I like that. Perfect. Right. Should we, uh, should we end it then? Get on board? Uh, where are we? Have I timed it? <laughs> it's coming in again. <laughs> That's like the fourth time, isn't it? Today. How many people you got on this time? 94. Okay, it's starting to balance out. I like it. How are your finances looking? Getting better and better. All right, guys, that's been it. It's been uh, an expensive episode, but I think one that uh, is going to serve us well. Camera's a bit wonky there. We're, we're going to have the full ride into... Uh, uh, come on. Remember the pronunciation, Grand. <laughs> Domodosola. There we go. Sort of. You, you, close enough. Bit of a long tunnel, but then we peek our heads out the other side and, and take a little journey along the mountainside. And then we'll go and pick up some more passengers. We're almost full. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how this runs. We'll check on the uh, connecting bus service as well. Uh, on both sides, the tram service on the other side. We may need an auxiliary bus at Brig. We are going to add a secondary, uh, a second bus on the Italian side. <laughs> no, I did, I did dodge the pronunciation of Domodossola. But then I had to say it anyway to explain myself. Well, that, that was a waste. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you for watching again. I had a lot of fun tidying things up. Our funds should go through the roof. And so we'll, we'll see about balancing a few more line rates. And we'll also start extending the, uh, the line past the passenger station in Domodossola <laughs> to, to pick up goods. And pick up and drop off goods and whatever else is needed. Yes, so until then, take care.